I was originally planning to do an episode of Hogwash in this slot, but honestly, talking about Alolan Marowak doesn't feel that important, given everything that's happened this week. So, I thought I'd change up the schedule and do something to help, or to cheer people up anyway. I probably don't need to tell you what I'm talking about when I refer to what happened this week. This week was the US presidential election and Donald Trump won. This week I had to spend, I had to stay up until 5, 6 a.m. consoling my girlfriend in America because of backlash as a direct result of this election. I know there's a lot of people in America, a lot of people all over the world, but most notably in America, who are feeling stress, anxiety, and fear as a result of this election who feel that their lives are in danger, that their views have been spat on, not just their views, but their identity, their selves. There are people who feel rejected and unloved, not just by their country, but often by their families. Their people they thought of as friends, their work colleagues, their, their fellow students in schools. You're not unloved. You are cared about. And if you feel that nobody understands, there are people who understand. And if nobody else is saying it to you, then I will say it to you. I love you. I care about you. I am non-binary. I am disabled and I am mentally ill. I understand your fears. For all of the POCs, I understand your fears as much as this is capable of understanding those fears. Women, people who are afraid of losing their right to abortion or of having their access to abortion even more strictly controlled, I understand your fears as much as I am capable of doing so. I care about all of you. I love all of you. And I am afraid for all of you. But I don't want to talk about fear and while if Trump or Pence ever make appearances on this island There will be... I'm going to be very, very angry indeed. I don't want to talk about anger. And I don't want to talk about rage. I don't think that's going to help. Not from me. Not, not from someone thousands of miles away on an island in, on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. My rage isn't useful to you. All I can try to do is give you hope, give you ways to help yourself, help you look after yourself, ways to help you try to remain positive. And what I'm going to provide, it's, it's paltry, I know, it's not much, but it's all that I can do. And look, you are on the winning side of history. I am certain of that. In 20, 30 years time, you people are going to be heroes. Those of you who stand against this, who fight against this, you are going to be heroes. 
in the history books, that's what's going to happen. I am so positive of that. Okay. All right. Enough with the maudlin. If you are feeling anxious, please use this list. I'm going to be putting the links in the cards, which I think go up there. But please, please, if you think this list is useful, please use it. Please spread it around. Just if it helps, use it. I'm going to start with a movie. The movie is The Great Dictator by Charlie Chaplin which was made shortly before the last time this happened. It is a gloriously uplifting movie that <laughs> intensely mocks this kind of leadership. And if you don't have time for the movie, it's three hours long. That's fine. Watch the speech. The speech from the end. I will link to that as well. That speech... That speech is one of the most beautiful speeches any human being has ever given in the history of humanity. Um, other things. I'm providing a link for watching all of Steven Universe as a playlist. One of the most uplifting shows on the planet and one of the shows that will understand you the best. You already know it. If you're watching my videos, you almost... If you're watching my videos and you are worried about this, you almost definitely know Steven Universe already. But just, it's helpful. Um, I'm putting... One of the things I use to cheer myself up and to, to calm myself down if I'm having a panic attack or something is um, the last three episodes of Gravity Falls. Weird Mageddon. It always helps. And... Finally, a video that makes me cry, but it makes me cry for the right reasons. It's made by a wonderfully positive YouTuber, uh, Mobo o Momo O'Brien. Um, it's just a quick reminder of how much you're worth, how great you are, how important you are to this planet. And you are. And I'm sorry I can't do any more than this. I wish I could do more, but... That's that. that that's all I've got. Go you. You're, you're... The world needs you. And the world needs you in... As good a mood and in as good mental shape as you can be. So I hope this in some way helps. Thank you for existing and for continuing to exist. And for fighting back against that. Thank you. By the way, if you'd like to help a chronically ill queer woman move to somewhere where she feels safer and more secure, but would also like to express your dissatisfaction with the election results in the form of a rad t-shirt, then please consider buying a copy of this t-shirt from my girlfriend's Redbubble store. It would really help both of us out. Thank you.